framing and sub so such a uh, subjective framing of peaceful demonstration mm. and and also they do some selective prosecution right mm. right they they only uh, uh, they 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 prosecute them and then after that uh, um, they have some selective sentencing so so it involves the judiciary the the, the magistrates too because that that magistrate is is, is sentencing uh, long hair and and Andrew told because they are famous people yeah. only to social service, yeah. committee service. But then the other activists, one yeah. of them has been sentenced to fifteen weeks in 15 prison. Yeah, weeks, yeah. Weeks in yeah. Prison. that was about two weeks ago, that wasn't is, it? Yeah, that is yeah. stifling the freedom of demonstration. Yeah. Yeah, because actually, um, from what I gather, what what actually happened was quite similar, wasn't it? Yeah. For whatever happened, a policeman was was um, fell backwards or fell to the ground, yeah. uh, and it's practically it was almost identical, actually, what yeah. in both incidences. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. Um, I, I definitely think it was that, that, that outrageous, an unjust yeah. uh, manipulation yeah. of the law. And, and and obviously, Andrew Toe and Longhair are more well known activists. Yes, and, uh, um, and, uh, and the fear of backlash. Right? Yeah, and and th I mean that that is unfair. I think that that um, the the activist was imprisoned um, for 15 weeks. And the other was activist, actually, actually, the supporters get a lots of lots of appeal letters mm. from even very famous very famous celebrities mm. right, like 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 the Bishop mm. Chen mm. Uh, of the Catholic Church. Mm. But then they just just put everything aside, and then mm. also citing that uh, and all the witnesses. Because uh, the, the, all the witnesses are all those activists mm. uh, witnessing that he hasn't do any he hasn't done any police assault. Mm. But then the judge just brushed aside all this evidence and saying that because you all are of the same political affiliation, so your your evidence must be biased. Yeah. Now yeah. this is a kind of very scandalous mm. attitude by so a Matt, judge. Matt, do you think the, the you know the politics is uh, affecting the uh, justice system right now? Uh, well, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it, it happens all the time. And, um, it happens, I must draw your attention, it mm. happens all the time mm. in Asian countries. Yeah. Yeah. The judiciary, in law, sooner or later, will become, and the police will become just a, a tool, mm. an administrative tool of the government. Mm. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I, mean, I, I bumped into, I, I met Andrew, um, Andrew too, actually, at the, I was at the um, LST uh, annual meeting, yeah. and I, I jokingly said to him that I thought he was a bit lucky, actually, <laughs> only getting community service. <laughs> um, but I mean, to be honest, though, I, I don't think they should have been convicted at all. Actually, yes. they shouldn't even have got yes. community service because it was clear that it, it was not done maliciously. It yeah. was just, you know, in these sometimes at a protest, there's a bit of, um, you know, confusion goes on. They they didn't in any way go out to um, push a policeman to the so, ground, so to be honest. And they, 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 they you know, they, they shouldn't um, have been uh, convicted of that. And I don't think the the other activist. I think um, he was, you know, obviously I don't know the details, but. I, I, I'm sure as uh, no, he, he should not be in prison for 15 weeks. And um, you know, I, I, when something like that happens, I think there needs to be a stronger so um, um, a a action against the um, the judiciary. I think. Let me come in a bit more. That, so, so we see that this this law about police assault itself is highly liable to be manipulated by the police. And that because it's so subjective in this sense, it, 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 and it also con contradicts the basic, uh, the basic uh, spirit of the common law. That means that the, 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 the doubt, and unless beyond reasonable doubt, right, this, this guy is really doing some police assault. Mm. But this, this case is, is just any kind of bumping into a police mm. Can yeah. be charged with the, this this uh, uh, very odious law yeah. of police assault. This is scandalous. Yeah, uh, you can be sure as hell. You can be sure that if it was a DAB um, yes. activist who um, you know accidentally or in a, you know for whatever there was a bit of a, a push or something, um, you can be sure that he wouldn't have been taken to, to court. Yes, and um, you know it's, it is unfair, isn't it? Yes. Um, but um, you know there we go. Um, we, we, we want to move on. We've got other issues if we, um, to work yeah, through this right, program. Right. In the second half, we're going to talk more about LSD uh, and the annual, annual meeting and what went on a bit. Mm. We're going to talk a bit about um, Gandhi as well. Um, but we want to talk now a bit about the domestic violence um, bill, yeah. bill. And uh, I want to ask you a few questions, both of you. And Dr. Chan, perhaps you, you could give us your view on or yes. explain what, what's, uh, what you think about and what's going on a bit. No, no. 
the problem with the domestic violence bill is quite obvious. It's about a kind of conservatism and a kind of progressivism within the society, right? right? For a pluralistic society, there's got to be some balancing point, right? And then the balancing point, I hope most of us can agree, is the basic human rights. That means when the basic human right of somebody is in jeopardy, then we must, all of us should be united in, in rejecting any form of uh, infringement on that human rights, right? Now, for domestic violence, it's a kind of violence which is particularly tricky because sometimes even the police cannot do anything. That's why this domestic violence bill is trying to supplement the, the so-called the criminal codes about, about violence with, a, with a, a, civil, a civil bill. That means any, anybody which being assaulted by his intimate ones right, can, 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 can go to court right, and call for an injunction. Right? Now, the problem is now the conservatives in Hong Kong, mm. uh, including many so-called uh, fundamentalist Christians, they are opposing any inclusion of the gay couple, of the gay people into, mm. into this violence mm. uh, bill. That means, that means if, if a, a gay couple, one of them is suffering violence from the other partner, he cannot go to the court to, call, uh, to apply for an injunction. Right? Mm. Now, this is become scandalous because, because this actually violates the basic human rights of the gay person mm. in, uh, in the case. Right? Mm. Now, the, the, the problem is now to actually if, if we are according to the true spirit of the human rights, actually all, now, now I must remark, including Bishop Jing himself, has also appealed for the inclusion of gay couples. That means this has nothing to do with whether we, we legalize gay marriage or not, but only that in order to protect any person from, in, so from intimate ones, we must include them into the bill. Mm. That's the basic point. Mm. And, and what do you think of um, Cardinal um, Zen's um, yeah, Cardinal Zen. view uh, and his, the way he's talking about it? What, what, as, a, as a professor of um, religious studies, what's your kind of take on, on that? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I think Cardinal Zen is, is sensible enough to understand about this basic point, about human mm. rights. Mm. But, but the problem with fundamentalist Christians is they don't understand about it and they mm. just have some, uh, some kind of long view in order to want to overturn this so that if, if the, the human rights basic concept retract, retract a bit, mm. uh, uh, then in future they can continue criticizing gay couples, mm. in cup, uh, gay marriage in public mm. and, 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 and also f- barring all any, anything, any law that, include, that give equal status to gay couples or gay people. Mm. Uh, this, is, this is something uh, very, very bad because it, it takes Hong Kong one step back not f- forward mm, sure, in, sure. in 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 uh, in uh, progressing towards an international standard, mm, uh, mm. especially in terms of human rights. Mm, sure, but it, it's interesting that Cardinal Zen, he, he, he's um, he, the way he's talked about it in public, he's quite careful the way uh, yes, he's talking about he it because because obviously he doesn't want to say that um, pe- I, anyone I should gay marriage. Yeah, yes, yes. He, but, well, on the, on the one hand, he doesn't can't say that, but on the other hand, you see, he he can't say that some people should not be protected yes. um, from being attacked or yeah. being, um, do you know what I mean? And he's got, got to say, uh, you know, that um, violence is completely unaccept- unacceptable who, regardless of whoever it is and so on. Um, but it's, it's kind of interesting that the way that um, different um, uh, figures in Hong Kong are, are talking about the, the issue. But uh, what, what disappoints me a bit is that... Um, uh, in, in terms of the gay rights community um, in Hong Kong is, from my perspective, I, I would say that they, they need to stand up a bit in oh, a stronger yes, way. I, I, um, I, I agree with you. They are not standing ro- up strongly mm. enough to, mm. to, to, to have their heard, voice heard yeah. across the community. Yeah. I mean, even where it's, it's been played out in, in the media, that there haven't been enough um, gay rights activists you know, getting out there and um, uh, putting their point of view across, I, I feel. And, and that, that's, that, you know, I, I, I would encourage gay, gay yes, activists yes, yes. And, and also supporters. I, you know, I'm not gay, but I support gay rights yes, um, yes. To, to speak up in, in any way they can, I think. Yeah. Um, but I, I can understand why that um, as, a, as a gay if for a gay person in Hong Kong 
you know it, it's not an easy place uh, to be gay and in, 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 in especially in terms of um, speaking up in public because yeah, then know. You, you know you're going to be judged there are and so lots on lots of social stigma but yeah. any still we, we, we would like them to stand up more in yeah, order I, to push for their own rights right? and yeah. also the rights for others. Because yeah. actually, you know, the, the, the way that change happens, you know, there, there has to be people who are willing to stand up. Yes. Um, and with that, that whole debate to do with gay rights um, and, you know, gay marriage and, and so on, you know, ultimately it's got to come.